Okay, we're off Jaton. We've got a Grand Live Oak we're going to be uh, doing a little work on so we can build a house here. Uh, a couple things. We previously air spaded out this area to determine how close we could get to the tree uh, with a new development without getting into critical roots. We were able to get a little closer than the city setback uh, because there were no major critical roots here, probably because the pre-existing house deflected those roots. Uh, and the fact that we got closer is good because this oak in the rear ended up having critical roots beyond the average city setback. So we were able to move away from this guy, save the uh, large structural roots and pretty solid percentage of root system, and then get closer to this one uh, where we weren't going to be cutting anything in the ground. The trees are already used to deflecting around that area. Uh, so then the second thing we need to think about this thing is predominant with an inclusion, some decay where an old, you know, triple dominant lateral used to be and either got cut or broke off. But you can see here, this tree comes together at a harsh angle. And so we're gonna do some cable and bracing. We're gonna do a little bit of weight management on this upper stem that goes towards where the new house will be and hopefully make this thing low risk while also being able to preserve the tree in the back and save both of these oaks and still build a house. Uh, I got my tools with the uh, bracing materials in my truck and we got the, uh, the bucket truck pulling up now to assist us with the upper canopy cabling. And we got this crazy guy driving uh, 50 miles an hour down the residential road who seems to be in a hurry. So right now we're making building clearance Unfortunately, that one primary arm had to come off, but it's got a good aspect ratio at the collar. And so once he's done cutting that, we'll have plenty of clearance for a house. And then we'll work on our crown reductions for structural safety. Meanwhile, I'm going to have another truck pull up in the back and do something similar. Uh, make some space for the house, but that one does not need quite as much work done to it. Both of these trees have a report by the city arborist on where they want us to prune, so we're pretty much just following that. Uh, you can see the details on the laptop, sort of. So we're going to follow the pruning report, and then after that, we're going to work on the stuff we're doing for uh, bracing these trees together. You want to switch buckets? You want to use that? Okay, that works. Yeah, that's fine. Just watch your drop.
want to go big on that one? What? You want to go big on that one? Yeah. Let's take that that secondary off here. Looks good. That gives you a foot on each side? Okay. Cool. his babies are up there all right so we installed this cable thumbs up <laughs> got a little play in it uh, use the rig guy wire stop for the first time super easy method hopefully it's strong like they say it is but so far everything looks good time to do the through bolts
five. Three rods. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> and our cable connecting these two co-dominant limbs. We had to remove this primary arm because the building's going to go here and it was out over where the building would be. But other than that, all we did was follow this lateral up and do some weight reduction to help prevent it from failing. Time to pack up and go home. <laughs>